plants have grown. I could have sworn they weren't here hey. yesterday. Mum probably uses a really good is fertilizer. What is that? Is that a troll? Troll? It's a it gnome. Like, it looks like a troll. It's a gnome. It's a gnome. Uh, did you hear the dialogue? I did. I I kind of heard it and then I heard it again. Uh, maybe my speakers are kind of loud. Did you hear it clearly through the stream? Yes. Okay. Uh, hmm. By the way, can you also Doesn't read the subtitles? Are those too there? small? Uh, oh, those are way too small. <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully you can uh, hear the dialogue fine. Hopefully. So yeah, this is Book of Unwritten Tales. It's an adventure game released a few months ago. It, it's kind of neat. I like it. But it's also a lie because it, it must have been written by someone. I think it's a reference to something in the game. It's probably a book some in the game which has unwritten tales in it. That's my guess. Also snow. Oh wow. So yeah, I should do a quick recap of what is happening so far in this game. Basically this weird, um, I think it was a goblin who just randomly crash landed around here and gave this character, this gnome, a ring and, and the character has to deliver, deliver there ring to some kind of archmage and the uh, goblin with the ring was kidnapped but uh, well but I still got the ring from him before he got kidnapped and right now I'm just I'm just trying to find things I need for my trip to uh, to the human town where the archmage lives so I, right now I need um, one parachute and one helmet I also needed a um, a uh, what was it again <laughs> I made something. Oh yeah, I also did in the map, but 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 I got the map already. Okay. So yeah. So now I need to find well, make parachute and the helmet. I know where I can get the helmet, but I have to do some things. Some things. Yes. Uh, this game's 3D because it kind of looks 2D. Um. Um, um, all the backgrounds are are uh, see, it seems to be a mix of hand drawn artwork and and pre rendered 3D and the and all the characters are 3D but they are really highly detailed so, so they just merge well blend right in with the backgrounds really really nicely. They really do. <laughs> yeah, the the graphics in this game look good, really good. How much is this game? Uh, uh brum, well, uh, well, I can't really check at the moment, and I got and I got this as a present. I didn't buy it myself. But you, if you go to some to something like okay. Gamersgate, you can search for it Book there. Book of unwritten tales. Do, 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 do. Classic music. Yes, it's even Norwegian. Fitting. So yeah, the the thing I have to do here is that I have to take this pot because it would be a nice helmet, but there's an evil slime in it for some reason. The pot could make a perfect helmet. An evil but slime. How do I get rid of that slime? Slime can be really how did evil. Get in from Dragon Quest. Slime. Bad slime. What did you say? How did the evil slimes get in from Dragon Quest? <laughs> what, Dragon Quest? I haven't played Dragon Quest games. I'm sorry. <laughs> slime can be really evil. Bad slime. But yeah, I'm I'm not sure how to get the slime away. I was thinking maybe I could scoop it up with this uh, homemade net, but I can't interact with it. I also have this coffee pot with crystal clear water. I don't really think I'll be able to scoop the slime out of that pot. But that does nothing. Mm. I have super fertilizer. And that reminds me, there's this plant thing, I don't know what to do. Oh, uh, I have to talk to this guy. This guy's amazing. I like amazing people. This guy's amazing. This is, is the, the first Scottish time guy? in a long time mm -hmm. I've actually seen the Master Brewer <laughs> happy. I'd rather not disturb him. No, oh, I can't talk with him. I kind of I kinda did things with him earlier. I, I made a robot uh, attack him. And then he killed the robot. And then he started celebrating with a lot of bear. So I can't talk with him anymore. Oh, well. That's a little too close to home. Oh, that's that's the, the normal thing to happen in the Ryman home? Well, not in my home, but a lot of Scotsmen would love, like their drink. So yeah, this is a, a flower pot. Mm. Doesn't look so, like Mother planted anything in there. 
Um, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be using the super fertilizer here, Why but I, I have to plant something. When there's nothing planted in it. The only thing I have is this barley, which is something that he doesn't want to plant. I don't even know what to do with that. one handful of barley. Why do I need two then? Hmm. Maybe, maybe it wasn't a good time to stream while being stuck. <laughs> maybe, maybe, I should, not. maybe I should visit the, the kitchen again. I haven't been there in a while. I did find some good news though from the game's official website. Oh. Thirty-three oh, percent discount kitchen. for a limited time. Oh really? So they twelve pounds ninety instead of nineteen ninety nine, and there's a demo. Really? That's that is an expensive. I would I would definitely recommend getting this. This is a really fun game. Blue bottle. Oh, I could take that. Okay, I didn't know that. That's something I looked at earlier. I didn't consider taking it. Okay, let's see what is this Master again. Master Merlin's antibacterial kitchen cleaner. The dirt disappears like magic. If only I could cast the spells dirt like Merlin like magic. or any other household cleaner for that matter. <laughs> Let's see, I can visit another uh, area here. There's a one NPC here I can talk with. Nipic. And down we go. Yes. I, I, I like his voice. Oh yes, the voice acting in this game is so good. I like it. Oh, silver rope, I didn't see that Thin rope behind it. silvery elven rope. It's very light and almost unbreakable. Not just silver rope, silver elven rope. Okay, I'm getting a lot of stuff now. Um, excuse me, Colonel Grandad. <laughs> yes, report back. Well, we can't expect any help from the Master Brewer. He doesn't believe the ring is important. I didn't expect much more from that cowardly drunkard. Grandad, he's my boss. Some boss sits in his fortress drinking beer from dawn till dusk while his comrades are fighting on the front line. I think he misses them. Well, perhaps. But one thing's for sure. We are on our own, soldier. I got a map. Excellent. My commanding officer always said good maps are half the battle. We are of on our own, won't soldier. Be needing it if everything goes well. If what goes well? But if not, it's always good to have a map with you. What? I'll go look for the rest of my Knowing gear. Knowing you You do that. I've got enough to do here. But bear in mind, the Dark Lord knows all of your thoughts. Right. So yeah, that's my granddad, who is a bit of um, well, he well, he's kind of nuts, and he's supposed to help me uh, get to the. Uh, town with the Archmage, but I still need to get all my gear. Your granddad's weird, Sectus. <laughs> Dad's vice brings back a lot of memories. Painful, mostly. Okay, so, so the game has an interesting system. Once you have once you have looked at an item and it's still an object you can select, that usually means you have to do something with that, uh, with that object. I can't see what I'm supposed to be... how a vice would be handy, though. Mm. Maybe there are some there are some exceptions to that rule. I don't know. Something my granddad is working on. No idea what it is, and I'm pretty certain I don't want to know either. I like my granddad, but his inventions are usually pretty dangerous. Okay, let's get away from here. His inventions are usually pretty dangerous. Um, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to also be getting this mechanical flying fish. I kind of made it go flying like this earlier, but I can't actually grab it. Oh, I can't reach that. Oh, oh, maybe I'll uh, use the net for that. The net. Yes, yes. <laughs> gotcha. Awesome. Progress, puzzles, adventure game. Also, this is amazing. I can look at this chair and I'll get amazing dialogue if I keep looking at this chair. Like I said, a chair to sit on. It's still a chair. He likes that chair, I think. A totally uninteresting chair, which is absolutely no help to me. Not now, not ever. It is a chair. Honest. 
Okay, whatever. It's a horse. A beautiful big white horse. What is your problem? A chair is a chair is a chair. <laughs> I'm not going to answer. The chair, of course. That's the key to it all. Not a chair. Yeah, that does seem amazing. Amazing. Yeah, hooray for fourth wall breaking jokes. <laughs> yeah, I like when he randomly says it's a horse. It's always a horse, isn't it? Oh, what's that? The tarps are supposed to offer the stonemasons a little protection. They have to be pretty tough if they're out there in all kinds of weather. I'm still hearing an echo from your speakers. I'm not climbing up there, it's all ice. Oh, I guess I'll I reduce the volume yet again. Oh god. Hopefully I can still hear the game myself. <laughs> He's not climbing up there. This is the first time in a long time. Okay, um... Maybe now I can do something with this pot. Maybe the mechanical flying fish now, okay. <laughs> sure, it's obvious. Maybe the kitchen cleaner. Oh! That seems to work. I can't get close enough. Aww. It'll snap at me and slime me. Um... No. Ooh. A perfect fit. Yeah. Now we can make long reaching attacks on bacteria. Aha! Puzzles! I am a master of puzzling. Now I'm gonna do something I should have done a long time ago. What you combined? It's too bad that slime had to be so evil. <laughs> yeah. Something. I, I, I combined the kitchen cleaner with the extendable arm I was carrying. I didn't know he had extended the arm. Oh, that's a helmet Amazing. fit for a hero. It only stinks a little bit. So that's two of the three pieces of gear already. So all I need now is a parachute. So how am I supposed to get a parachute? Is there any cloth based thing you've seen in the environment that looks like you could use it as a parachute? I'll have to take a look around, but one thing is pretty certain there's no object I can interact with in this room anymore, so I'm pretty sure I'll never have to get back in here. Okay. I still wish I could talk with my boss, because he has such an amazing voice. This is the first time in a long... To be honest, I'm not going to put my hand in there without a very good reason. Who knows what the rat has hidden there? Maybe rotten food, the first time or in a long... already digested food, or even more rats. Uh, what did you say? I'm just repeating dialogue. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, um, I did... Yes, rats. I did see that thing outside. Maybe that's what I... No, that's no longer an object, so I definitely don't have to use... Ooh. No, no, that's something else. Dwarf statue, that can't be related. Probably the statue of some famous dwarven leader. I don't know much about their history. Uh... I don't think it's anything outside here. It has to be some something inside my home. A very homey. Yes. Uh, you weren't able to pick up that elven rope. Uh, um, I do have the elven rope. Yes, yes, I do. Oh. I don't. I don't see what I'll use as cloth thing. Um. Ooh, maybe I'll. Mm, oh. Oh, maybe I can use the chair. <laughs> this chair is completely uninteresting. Okay, maybe not. Um. Ooh, I have an idea. I have an idea. And down we go. And down we go. And down we go. Maybe I can use this. This, which is covering one of the inventions. Oh wait, no. It's no longer an object. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> Okay then, okay, 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 then I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be using the vice for something, but... What? How can I make a parachute out of the items I have? That, that's an excellent question. My old gnome scout rucksack. Pretty tough, that. But somehow I always had the feeling it could have been a little larger. 
a good handful of barley from my mother's kitchen. What is barley anyway? Isn't that a herb? Huh. It is with some table. A pot of crystal clear water. Let's see. <laughs> what are we here? Wrench, pliers, auger grease. I love how Resident Evil is the foot, first to get the go to hear herb. <laughs> The map shows the area I'm pretty sure Resident Evil is the very first storm. time I heard the, heard the word the herb. The map shows the area between here and the human town of Seastone. Since my native uh, language is Norwegian, I got a feeling I got it's a very, very weird impression of brickle. English. Probably. Um, excuse me. Co yes, report back. It's got to be something to do with that elven robe. I have the pot. Um, um, helmet. <laughs> Excellent, soldier. The helmet will protect you from physical attacks. You can even sit on it and use it as a saucepan. Ooh, how practical. Let me see your helmet. It's not all that great, I know, but... What? It's a good helmet. And it's going to protect a good soldier. That is, of course, as long as the enemy doesn't attack with dragons. Or has wizards in its ranks. Or magical swords. And doesn't go for a your head. Soldier. Maybe I should look for some armor with magic. Poppycock! That helmet will do. I'll go look for the rest of my gear. You do that. I've got enough to do here. Take good care of the ring. It's your precious. Ooh, love the rings reference. Right. About time, I guess. Oh yes, so now I'm just wearing it all the time. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know what it is about the word poppy talk, but it's it's amazing. Oh, this is an object. Hang all over the hall. Now these two are all what we have it? left. Oh, never mind. It's just this glowing lamp thing which was weird, but it's no longer an object after I looked at it once. Okay. Uh, vice. I I don't like trying random things with with random things, but I'm honestly I don't have a lot of ideas right now for the parachute. It is a bit random. The game is actually extremely friendly regarding combination of items because because if I click an item, then I could just hover over other items and then find out immediately if I can uh, combine them. And yeah, I just figured out I can uh, combine the tool with I'd the mechanical fine fish. Apart until I know what I'm looking for. Oh, okay, uh, no, 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 never mind, I can't actually do that, he, he, uh, he refuses. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's looking for. Let's see, I pulled the rope through the eyes on the rucksack. Yes, oh, that's sick, this is channel just went live on Twitch. <laughs> I pulled the rope through the eyes on the rucksack. Uh, can I just pretend this rucksack is, uh, is a parachute? What else am I supposed to use with that? It does sound like the rucksack is the key. Yeah. I pulled the rope through the eyes on the rucksack. Maybe I'm also supposed to, supposed to now combine some kind of large amount of cloth to that. The I've... thing is, can you find a large amount of cloth? Yeah. Uh... I don't know. I don't have that many areas to go to. There's nothing there. Go back to the kitchen. Um, there we go, kitchen. Our kitchen. I had a feeling this would happen. Mr. Eddie's is in the stream. Oh, uh, by the way, I can't. I can't look at the uh, text chat. You, uh, you'll just have to tell him that I can't find a way to properly uh, also stream the voice chat for this. So yeah, sorry, no voice chat. Oh, okay. Those cogs belong to Dad's living space optimization unit. The machine takes up a total of three rooms in our hall. I'm very certain I'm supposed to do hmm. something with this flower pot. Like I'm probably supposed to grow there. something there, but what? You can't put the barley in. I don't even know what to do with one handful of barley. Why do I need two then? Yeah, he, he's not interested in that. God damn it. If only the chair could help me. 
I'll have to go back to the uh, dwarf place. Or maybe I'll just go around searching here more in this open area. I haven't There's looked no too I closely around this. To see stone. That's many days march through these mountains. But yeah, he he kind of refuses to go towards the east. Maybe there's something to the west here. Yes, go, go, gnome. Go here. No, he doesn't want to go there. It's kind of weird that this stopped being an object, this cloth on the, on the scaffolding here, because that looks useful. <laughs> hmm. Originally, hundreds of dwarves were supposed Wait, it to, was an object before. to defend the mountain yeah. kingdom's northern front. Now the master brewer and my family are the only ones left. Uh, this is a very common thing in, in this game, that there's a ton of things I can look at, and once I've looked at it enough, it's, it, it, it's no, longer, no longer an object, because there's no reason to interact with it anymore. Which is, which is, which is pretty nice, actually. Because okay. it does uh, make it less cut puzzling regarding puzzles. Apparently the statue's Puzzle. not quite finished. Still, it looks much better than mm. the others do. Mm, yeah. If you have any ideas, let me know. <laughs> uh, I will. Maybe there's something out here because this is a big area. Technically, there's no way I can walk. Uh, snow's bill. Oh, okay. I, okay, I can look at this thing, this dish thing on the gnome hole. I think. A rolled up tarpaulin. Probably just like the ones hanging oh, yeah. in the place. Yeah. <laughs> what? I, it's and, and it's not the dish, it's something behind it I just picked up. Yeah, this looks like cloth, god damn it. I didn't I really did not see that. I just clicked on it that by on that back accident really. I what? thought I clicked on what? the dish. What? Maybe Ron Gilbert had a very good point after all regarding uh, knowing hotspots on the screen because I didn't see that at all. I'll thread the rope through. Yeah, the and now I have my, my parachute. Done. Okay. There we go, a parachute, and that's the last of my gear. I must get back to Grandad fast. Took a while, but progress. <laughs> and Yay. down we go. I like progress. And down we go. Um, excuse me, Colonel Grandad? Colonel Grandad? <laughs> yes, report back. I have a parachute. Fantastic. Parachutes are hard to come by and are difficult to make yourself. After all, you'd only want to entrust your life in a quality product, not something makeshift you've patched together yourself. Trust my life? But, of course, I, I mean, I mean, of course not. So, that's the last of my gear. Heroic music. Excellent. We could get going if only my damn machine would work. But you can't find <laughs> a thing in this house. You have won the no battle. No nitroglycerin, no dragon hide armor, 
No concentrated pillars of salt. No full mithril jacket bullets. Nothing. What? What do you need all that for? For what? It's a war. But we just want to deliver the ring to the archmage. Don't you think a sled? What? I need a nitroglycerin substitute. Something highly explosive. The only thing that comes to mind is good old dwarven ale. Dwarven ale? Devilish stuff. We reduced complete countries to ash and rubble with it. We loved the smell of dwarven ale in the morning. Okay, I'll get you some dwarven ale. Anything else? Yes, I need a cog. A five-eighth inch screw steel sprocket, straight beveled, hard chrome plated, BSA threaded flange with right hand thread and lock ring locking. It's not a standard size, and I can't find one anywhere. Hmm. A five-eighth inch screw steel sprocket, straight beveled, hard chrome plated, <laughs> BSA threaded flange with right hand thread and locking lock ring. Sounds familiar. Come back when you've got the stuff. Probably inside the flying mechanical the fish. But remember. Probably. You leave a free gnome and free you are. What will you do with that freedom? Will you fight? Right. Okay, so yeah. Um, I guess I accidentally solved part of another puzzle by doing the whole fish thing, so I'll solve it entirely now. But where are you going to get the wood nail right from? Well, uh, my boss guy runs this place with a ton of wolves and uh, bear. Maybe that sprocket, counts. Straight beveled, hard chrome plated, BSA <laughs> threaded flange with right hand thread and lock ring locking. Hmm, maybe that cog wasn't all that important. Fly. <laughs> oh, maybe it was important. Okay, let's go quickly back. I think it was important. <laughs> yeah. This game looks really pretty. Oh uh, yeah, I think I'll, I'll at least get try this demo. But I'll download it later. Yes, what are the system requirements? They should be pretty low. The game runs extremely well on my on my PC. For an adventure game, they actually seem fairly high. Well, apart from the graphics requirements, they're quite good. But yeah, like two gigs of RAM minimum, four gigs recommended. Hello, Master Brewer. Two gigahertz CPU. Oh, yeah, I, will I can talk to him. Amazing. Okay. Um, Mr. Master Brewer, assuming I were to need some dwarven ale. Oh wow. Well. Dwarven I ale. <laughs> it's not allowed, unfortunately. Why not? Have you heard about the explosion on Mount Winterpeak? The volcanic eruption. <laughs> volcanic eruption. Deep under that mountain was the finest ale brewery in the whole dwarven world. My dad took me there when I was nothing but two beer crates tall. <laughs> Can you imagine how ailed up we were? Uh, kind of. What happened? Ah, well, some so-and-so cocked up, and boom! <laughs> that was that! All over for dwarven ale brewing. After the accident, it was banned as a substance of enjoyment. The sharp taste and warmth in the throat, gone forever. Now it's only used in warfare and in the alchemy industry. But you do know how to brew dwarven ale, don't you? Does a one-legged duck swim in a circle? Of course I know. I'm the master brewer. It's not difficult either. First, you get barley germinated in a malt house, then uh -huh. let them float up after leaving them dormant for a bit. Then kiln dry the green malt, keeping it turned, of course, smell it, making sure that the husks don't get destroyed. The husks? What are... Then mash the whole <laughs> lot in a mash tun, obviously using a decoction procedure. After the iodine test, we get on with purifying and separating the malt from the beer wort in a slatted filter bed. Of course, but... In other words, we let the draft run through the mash pot. We then put the first wort in the brewing kettle, let it simmer and add the hops. We let the wort settle to remove the trub crust. Add the yeast this and then to ferment. Then we run it in a pebble filter. That's all fair enough. Then it gets more <laughs> complicated. Yeah, the, the, the barley for. Stop. Yeah. 
What? We're just getting to the exciting part. I'm sure we were, but I just abandoned <laughs> the idea of brewing some dwarven ale myself. Well, whatever you think. Let's assume I need a small tankard of dwarven ale really, really urgently. Could you brew it for me? Uh, could do, uh, but I'm not going to. It's not allowed. Oh, come on. Who's going to notice? When was the last time another dwarf came by to visit us? Mm, that's a fair time back. You see? Wouldn't you just love a nice cold dwarven ale tonight to celebrate your victory over the robot? Oh, dwarven ale is nectar. I'd certainly enjoy a wee taste of it again. No, oh, but it's not going to happen. I'm missing a few ingredients. And if I get them, would you brew up two tankards then? One for me and one for yourself? Aye. It's a deal. You find me the missing ingredients and I'll brew some dwarven ale. Okay, what do you need? Crystal clear mountain water, hops and some barley for malting. But that's... Uh, that's it? No, no deviled fire, salamander eyes, or dragon's breath, that sort of thing? Nope. Water, hops, and malt. Uh, then there's just a few secret ingredients, and uh, naturally synthesized aromatic substances, and uh, a couple of E numbers. Uh, but I've already got them here. Okay. Water, hops, and barley. I'll get them. Do you have any idea where I can get the hops? Oh, I'm sorry, but that thieving rat took the best part of five sacks. I've not enough left. I've got to be careful with it. The rat, huh? Hmm. I have to go. Enjoy the celebration. Yeah, yeah. The rats. Such rats. Yeah, there's rat all here, so... Uh... Hmm. If the rat has stolen that many hops, it might still have something stored in there. There's something in there. Something round. <laughs> uh, hopefully it's not a giant rat dropping. It's a single hop. This is probably all that's left of the stock of hops. Does that mean I have everything? Oh yeah, a single hop. I, I probably need to, uh, need to plant it and get uh, more hops. Logic. Hops. Puzzles. This is an adventure game. This is very much an adventure game. Lots of babble, lots of puzzles. I like it. Lots of babble. <laughs> well, it's okay, fun babble. I'll plant a hop in the soil. Babble, bibble, bobble. Let's see what happens. I really can't imagine this stuff. Wow. Good fertilizer, that. Nah. Whoa! A huge okay. hop plant with tons of corns. I grew fast. Yeah. I picked about ten corns. That should be enough for the dwarven ale. It's a, it's a little bit depressing that this game has basically been entirely ignored in total. You haven't heard anyone talk about it. Then, Sectus, you need to make it your mission to make it known. <laughs> you have a YouTube channel. Use it. <laughs> yes. Instead of uh, Soul Calibur videos all the time, I'm now going to have videos of this game all the time. Yes. Hello, Master Brewer, sir. Hey, I will learn. And then you can have people asking, Stick this, I have an idea for a board for a book of unwritten tales. <laughs> Here's some barley from my mum's kitchen. Can it be used for brewing? Mm -hmm. bum, 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 bum. It's not the best, but it'll have to do. I have a pot of crystal clear water for the dwarven ale. Show me. Hey, that water's very good. We can use this. I've got some hops for the ale. Is this enough? Ho oh, ho! That's we enough. We can use this. I hope you haven't been whipping stuff out of my stock. No. Well, only indirectly. <laughs> and that means I've got all I need to brew the lovely dwarven ale. <laughs> I imagine this is how you sound right. like it's all in, in real life whenever you're not talking on Skype. 
So you're assuming MTC is in sort of voice modulation right now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I hear a kettle. Indeed. Hey, laddie! Just watch out that you don't get any of that in your eyes. It's dangerous stuff. I'll be very careful. Thanks very much, sir. Well, tell me, Wilbur, what do you need all that junk for? The dwarf and ale and all the other stuff that you've been dragging out of here the whole evening? Well, it's because of the ring. I need it. Grandad's helping me get the ring to the human town safe. Well, quickly. Oh, Wilbur, it's dangerous for a young gnome like yourself out there. I know, but I promised that gremlin, and I believe it really could be important. And I'd like to get out of here and achieve something. Taste some adventure, eh? Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think that the ring is all that important. And uh, not everybody's born for having oh, adventures, dear. my lad. But I have bad news like this. Maybe you oh. really do need you know to get out of You know that pesky thing called nature? Really? Hmm? Aye, laddie. It's calling. You still live with oh, your dear. parents. And you so keep company I will be with RV. a very interesting, Traitor. intelligent old dwarf. Enjoy the book. <laughs> but that can't written. go on forever, yes. can it now? So, if you do leave and go off on an adventure, even if it's just a sea stone, then maybe you'll come back and visit and tell me all about it then, eh? I promise. Don't forget us. You're going to have to excuse me now. I've got an appointment. Appointment with Dwarven Ale. <laughs> I like that my character is still wearing the pot as a helmet. Very cute. Okay, so now I have everything I need, I think, to... Assumably, uh, presumably, get to the next area in the game. And down we go. Down we go. Um, excuse me. Yes, report back. Here's the Dwarven Ale, Grandad. Oh, my goodness, we must be careful with this. That means we are only missing the cog. Dismissed! Here's the cog, Grandad. Huzzah! Victory music. I have to break my flying fish for that. <laughs> War always involves sacrifice. Your flying fish was a hero, one of our best. We will honor his memory. Now I have everything I need. It won't take long now. Prepare yourself for takeoff. Take off? Oh, it's a shame Ryman isn't here for this. Cut in time. That's what you meant by take off. Absolutely. I've aimed her at the town of the humans. Betsy too was, of course, designed to shoot grenades. But I'm confident that she'll get your capsule there, too. Confident? Get me out of here. Please, Grandad. Listen, my boy. I'm proud of you. You're doing something very brave. Sure, Wilbur. I'd like you to have these. Your old aviator goggles. Oh, Grandad, I, I didn't think... Too slow, my boy. <laughs> Fire! Good luck! Ooh, sinister. I wouldn't live in a castle like that. Looks safe and nice and cozy. Okay, not so cozy after all. I don't like this bit anymore. <laughs> He still hasn't told us, Mother. Hello? Oh, welcome back. What the? Oh, uh, yeah, cuts in time. This is an, another the placement of the character. Did he switch games yet. when I wasn't looking? We were able <laughs> to intercept the servant. Uh, these are the guys who, who kidnapped the, the, the goblin, or, or I, mean, I mean the gremlin with the ring. Elf, Mother, 
She tried to free my girlfriend is his name. She might know something. What? So yeah, this is I guess this is the bad kind of game. Very it's well. that thing. And now, Mr. Professor, let us have a little chat. Very well, yes. <sighs> oh, yeah, uh, that's a character no I played as very, very I'm early in the game. And I'm fit. She um, helped the gremlin li a little bit. I'll get the book out of MacGuffin's secret cellar. Oh, multiple playable characters. Revolutionary. No, they were all gone when I got there. They collected the cage and were off. Now it's up to Can't us to get the book. Can't believe there's a character called MacGuffin. I'm gonna watch Mr. Scratch. Of course more. I don't have to. <laughs> but well, what else am I gonna do? It appears to be very important. And even if it isn't important, those shady fellows want to have that book. It's better that we get it is out of the cellar before the they birdie? get their grub yes. nicks on it. And the bird is talking to her. Then don't help me. Going tweet, tweet. Why don't you just fly home? Just don't tell my parents anything. Ungrateful feathered fowl. <laughs> Actually, maybe I should uh, stop here. I guess this works well as a look at the game. The well okay. Deep. So anyone, anyone who wants to play this game should get it because it's good. It seems yes. fun. And it's not too expensive, at least not right now. Limited time only. I think they call it the Adventure Games Are Not Dead sale. <laughs> uh, does that mean there's other Adventure Games being sold too? Uh, maybe, I don't know. I don't see a link to the developer's page. It just says buy the digital version exclusively here. Okie dokie, well, I guess I'll stop the recordings then. Bye bye. Toodles.